especially after the release of the chat gpt5 i have seen many videos where software engineers from across the globe are claiming that now chat gpt can do their job and they are in a fear that chat gpt will take over their job now i was thinking i haven't seen actually any video on youtube talking about is it going to be impactful for plc engineers or control engineers let's find out in this video we will test together we'll see how effective it is i'm going to give some prompts starting with the very basic questions and then we will get into advanced topics we'll see how effective it is for plc engineers is our job as a plc engineer is at risk let's find out in this video without further ado let's get into the interface and we will try to give some commands so i will keep my this little mic here down so if you hear me a little less loud pardon me for that because it's just a test kind of a simple video so quality would be a little compromise for sure and you guys are you know your friends so you will help me to watch the full video and i need to obviously uh, look for your reviews what you think about it when you are going to watch the full video and let's and you give it a try if you have already then please let me know what are your thoughts in the comments without further without further wasting any further time because your time is valuable and mine as well so let's get right away so can you i would say that can you tell me difference between s7 1200 plc and 1500 plc from siemens let's see Yes, both are okay small to medium and medium to large okay that's really nice and then it gives us proper actually information okay small and that's for sure uh sm 1200 is more for where you got a small applications and you want to control it small tasks then you will go for it and medium to large sm 1500 lower processing speed higher processing speed that's true memory that's true much larger memory in 15 and smaller in there communication ports hmm. built-in profit net ethernet optional okay that's good so basic motion control so it's really a nice response to be honest by the look i don't want to read everything you can read it by pausing the video but overall it looks awesome no issue in this so can you help me write a letter logic letter logic code for controlling vft in s7 1500 plc and tr portal version 15 let's see okay hmm. wow understanding the setup so digital outputs you got analog outputs digital inputs so it lists all the inputs hmm. then it created some kind of a letter logic given the fresh start the last day said okay vft studio when stop push button is pressed to unlatch it hmm. at least it's giving some kind of uh you know <laughs> it's not an actual ladder logic that's how it works over there but it is giving you a kind of a good understanding how it really works and but obviously ladder logic it doesn't reflect the same as you have so if you wanted to copy paste this i don't think so it's gonna work so not right there to be honest yet it still requires a lot of time and improvement to get into and understand that so it is forward push button and then vft forward vft reverse mm -hmm. but what about it's vft wouldn't okay vft forward reverse scale outputs okay that's scaling yeah this is structure text okay but i asked for sm and 1500 it has given us at least a very good guidance for those people who are already uh, into the automation and they know plc already then it can help, the, help them or give them some kind of a gu guidance for sure to do the job, but it cannot write the whole code that you can directly get into and playing around with it. Okay, that's good. So, and obviously uh, it, it is not giving you a complete idea how to add the hardware pieces, how to connect everything. And that still requires to be there. 
So let's see if it can help us with that as well. Can you help me design hardware and help me do the installation? I don't think though it can do the installation, but it is a weird stuff. So let's see. So thinking longer for a better answer. <laughs> so yeah, you have a right to think better because we are trying to test you and you need to save yourself. So let's see. So I've seen this chat GPT-5 is better than before. So choosing, choosing the hardware. Okay. And then it talks about start, stop, digital outputs, VFT digital inputs. Okay, that's speed and log. Okay, that's good. Status, emergency stop, Profinet. It's talking an example of the bill of materials. Okay. Guys, I'm telling you this is going to take a lot of people's job. That me because it's giving us, it's improving. Actually, it's not the same when we started because initially, I remember when I, I was trying to give a command, it was not nearby anywhere, but now it's improved and I think people are using it. That's why the models are getting improved and it, it is it is improving and you guys can look into that. I have just seen our random responses by the look. It is giving us kind of a guidance, okay? Wiring and accessories, what you need. And it talks about, you need this CPU, you need IO hardware, this one, DO module, you need one analog output, you need DO, and then you need a, this VFT as well. You need a motor, you need power cables and all. Guys, I bet you. This guy is going to improve, AI is going to improve, and that would definitely hit us. And especially if you know Siemens is also working on creating kind of a tool to do the configuration. So that's that's Siemens GPT or something. So that is going to be also also, I think Siemens Copilot or something, but that's going to be very, very, very big game changing uh, activity. But by the look, what I can see that it's almost 70% there. Like it cannot create the code, right? For sure, because uh, you cannot copy paste and burn it. It will not directly download it. You would still require people to just install the components and get the things connected. But uh, obviously, eventually, even the hardware uh, part would be minimized a lot. And these things would be much easier there, but installation of the wires and the instrument technicians, you guys don't need to worry. <laughs> you would have still jobs, but these white collar engineers, PLC engineers, TCS engineers, obviously there would be people because uh, you would have AI, but you would have to use the AI to create codes. And that's where you need people to just do that. So that's why I think people would be still needed, but um, there would be less requirement because now if something was supposed to be done in three days, that can be done in maybe half a day with one person because you've got now complete guidance and eventually, obviously it just, it's just a start and eventually it would improve. And yeah, that would be a fun in this domain for sure. I'm suspecting kind of, a, kind of a very big change. It's not easy. It doesn't look like very simple. So let's give it a, another try. Okay. Can you create letter program for communication? between two S7 1500 PLC CPUs. Oh, sorry, <laughs> cups, <laughs> it's CPUs. Let's see if you understand it. Okay, CPUs. So it got what I mean, so that's good. At least it's not dumb. So, okay, it's talking about functions. Okay, OPC UA. And then you go to an option one, it explains what to do. It talks about Oh man. Oh, it's getting nearby, guys. It's giving you a right direction at least, but it is not creating a complete code at this stage. But eventually, mark my words, it will. It will. And that is going to be the time when oh, PLC engineers would not be that much needed. Uh, there would be people, but less requirements. AI is going to take over most probably on any domain. And I was thinking it's just maybe a software domain, but no, guys, it's, it's doing awesome in. PLC side as well. So we talk about communication, we give it an assignment to program, uh, one important VSD programming task to that. And it, it's not disappointing uh, the way it was before. It's giving you complete instructions, the way a professional writes the codes. But yeah, um, still now the main thing is like, if you know the software and you know the environment and you can understand what he's talking about and you know the basics, then using that, you can obviously code it. But at this stage, there's no risk like other software engineers have, like because their job is doing exactly what is needed. But here it's not like this. It is still uh, giving us a directions, right directions at least. 
And then by getting using these clues, you can obviously write some quotes. And I wanted to hear what's your view on about uh, on this JetGPT five. It is at this stage not nearby uh, to replace our, replace PLC engineers. There would be still time, but I'm scared the way it is growing so fast. It can be any time, guys. I hope you like this video. It was kind of a very simple, you know, just a chit chat with you guys because it was needed. And keep supporting. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.